Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, welcome to the greatest show on earth, the Mike and D Bodybuilding Show. Five foot seven, weighing in at 215 pounds. No, that's later. Uh, what we got right now, we're at Metroflex, it's episode 36, our home, the Mecca. Um, before we get started today, we do have a special guest. They're all special, though. Yep, they are very special, aren't they? But a very special guest. And we have a special calendar, as a matter of fact. The Metroflex calendar, all the proceeds go to St. Jude's Hospital. Come down and get your calendar. If you want to order it, give it with Metroflex a call. And they take credit cards, they'll ship it out to you. Also, if you come down to Metroflex to train, and you mentioned the Mike and B Bodybuilding Show, you train for free. That's right, if you don't, it's five bucks. It's fine. It's just five bucks. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. That's like a week's I That's what the week's dues. Five dollars a week. Who can't afford that? I-17 and Bell. That's right. So, Mike and B Bodybuilding Show on location at the Mecca Metroflex. Jessica Maxson, she's a national level girl. She's from Canada. Uh, has all interesting things to say. She also has her own company, Glam Girl Swimwear. Met her at the show at the Felicia Romero uh, Western Regional. Um, without further ado, Jessica Maxson in the house. Come on in. What's up, girl? What up? How's it going? How's it going, girl? How's it going? Good. Let me, let me set this down. Excuse okay. me for a minute. Thanks. <laughs> we'll be advertising our calendars throughout the next few episodes. <laughs> Good guys, welcome back to the show. Jessica Maxson in the house from Canada. Stoked to have her on the show. Uh, Glam Girl Swimwear. How are you today? I'm really good. How are you guys? Pretty good. Thanks Is this for having me. Room? You're welcome. Oh, thanks for, for coming sure. out. It's cold today. It Where's is. our tubes? <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> we, were ju it? we were just talking a little bit before the show, and we were, we were both from up north. Um, and we were talking about how the weather down here in Arizona has absolutely made us into... Um, Big Sensi Yeah, <laughs> not to say it nicely. <laughs> a little sensitive. So, yeah. needless to say, so you're from Canada. You're down here in AZ now. Tell us a little bit about your story. What got you into this business, and what's going on? Uh, when's competing next? And, and we're, we're Arizona. We're just lucky. Look at another <laughs> awesome athlete in Arizona again, training out of the prestigious AZ Pro Physiques. This is not my interview. It's Jessica's. <laughs> Say something here before I take, steal your thunder. Hey, here. You guys can steal it. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, first um, I'm going to be training for the Arnold. So I started my prep. Very the Arnold excited. Amateur, correct? Arnold Amateur. Um, a good show for me. I'm working with Easy Pro Physique. I train with Damian Segovia, uh, one of the best trainers I've had to date. Mm -hmm. So I can say that. Well, He's real quick, me. sorry to interrupt you, but we kind of interject on things. <laughs> okay. But when you say, when you talked about doing the Arnold, the Arnold uh, Amateur, there's a reason for it, right? There's a yeah. reason why you're having a little bit of difficulties competing down here in the States and stuff. So maybe just kind of explain a little bit about why you chose that show. Well, I chose it because <laughs> I'm Canadian. I don't have my citizenship a. yet. A. So I wanted to make sure that I could do a show that possibly could lead me to my pro status because that's what I generally wanted. Yeah. We compete out as a pro, everyone wants to do it. So sure. That's probably the best platform. If not, I'll probably just kind of stick behind the scenes and support the locals, everyone else, and kind of work with Diamantize. Yeah, yeah. You know Diamantize athlete, I failed to mention that. <laughs> um, but, well, you have an interesting story. We got to know you a little bit before we got started. And uh, you competed in all three divisions. And I was surprised to hear that uh, fitness, figure, and now bikini. And I was interested, really. Surprised to hear that bikini was the hardest for you. That was kind of an interesting <laughs> answer. So yeah, tell me a little bit more about this. I only got the tail end of that conversation. Yeah, yeah I think bikini is the hardest because you got to get those glutes tight. Like you can't <laughs> fake that stuff. You can't like just stand still and pose those glutes. You have to really work for it. So my training is all glutes, 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 glutes. People ask me, what do you train abs? You know, girls want to train chest, all this stuff. I'm like, no, girl, you need to focus on those glutes because <laughs> <Right. laughs> that's a make or breaker. Yeah. You can never have too tight of glutes. That's right. And then for you, the hardest part, I think, that you said, not just the training and the glutes and all that, but is kind of scaling down from being a figure girl into transitioning into bikini. That was uh, how did you come to that decision? Because a lot of girls start in bikini and they work move their way up, yeah, and they move their way up, or they do. Now you see them cross over and they go back down. But you know how that happen? Well, so we were living in Lake Havasu for a year, so there was actually a girl that I talked to. She was IFBB Figure Pro, and she gave me the name for Easy Pro Physiques and Damien. So Damien asked me to send pictures of myself, and I sent him pictures, and he was like, you're doing a figure. And I'm like, are you sure? I, I think I'm bikini. He's like, no, you're a figure. And then when he saw me in person, he was like, okay, you're bikini. <laughs> but I just, because I naturally have, like I've done the category. Sure. But tweaking my body from that physique where I had more, I was more full and, Thicker, it was just a lot of breaking my body down, different 
cardio. Just now that I'm kind of at that body shape, it's just so much nicer. I feel like I don't even have to. A little bit easier to maintain yeah. now. <laughs> You're not eating as much protein. Not as much protein. Like the food is so hard being female. Well, you guys know. Yeah. yeah. Bodybuilding is. Because all you do is eat. Right. Well, you're an athlete. You have a background in gymnastics, and what are all of the different sports you used to do? I played rugby for three years. I did competitive kickboxing until a girl got kicked in the nose, and I was in practice and broke it. The guy you, broke her nose. You broke her oh, nose? You no, broke, no, no, no. Oh, I oh, was like, Jesus, pack it up. I'm, I am <laughs> yeah, over, yeah. I'm over here. <laughs> no, one of the guys was practicing and kicked her in the nose and broke her nose because it was competitive. Of competitive level, so I was like, ah, uh, you know, I don't want to smash keep, yeah. my face. Right. So I want to kind of maybe transition to something else. So that's oh, wow. kind of what, you know, I I'm just always been a competitor, and I love the sport, not to compete against other people, mm -hmm. but just to like be challenge yourself. Yeah, yeah, kickboxing. I mean, were you a tomboy growing up? Or? Big tomboy. You were a big I tomboy. Skateboarded. So no you and Misha Coates like get your sector nines together and go, go push your boards around. I could just see them after you know out at AZ Pro Physics. Hey Leo, let's go for a <laughs> <your> board. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a while. Yeah, but don't do that. We you know you can't have road rash for a show. That yeah, no. I'll stick with my snowboarding, <laughs> wakeboarding, and surfing a little bit. It's dangerous for me. Cool. So at this point. so one of your girlfriends, one of your friends, you're in Canada, and um, maybe you saw a poster, maybe you saw somebody at the gym, but. What was it that actually made you, inspired you? Say, I want to get on stage, I want to do that. I can do this. What, what was it? Who was it? It was just one of my girlfriends that just said, let's, you know, let's train, let's do this show, and just like put it in my head. Mm -hmm. I didn't really kind of, I always was a big fan of fitness. I always read in magazines, like Oxygen and all those different types of magazines, but it wasn't like one person that was like, wow, right. I want to be like them. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a story behind that too, right? Like, there, you guys just didn't decide to pick up and do a show, right? Yeah, I was just eating like crazy. To be honest, I was getting big. I was a big girl. I was like, every night after I got out of hygiene school and I was in the career, it was stressful. And I was like, I just wanted to eat ice cream and brownies. Because yeah. that's what my dinner was. And I just stopped working out. And I'm like, I need to get focused. And I, I work well with the goal. Yeah, when she got up to 280 pounds, she thought, <laughs> decided to, to make a lot of back the carbs a little bit. <laughs> no, I don't know. We probably get up to whatever it was. I was like 145 and I'm like 125 now. So I was big, you know. And that wasn't, that wasn't muscle. Yeah. So it was a little bit uncomfortable for me. And everyone's like, you didn't look like that, but I just didn't feel healthy. Was your first show a figure show? Or? Was figure, yeah. Well, how'd you do? I played six. Out of, it was a CBBF show. And what was the last show that you did? I know we talked about it just a little bit. I, but. I did the flex at the Olympia. Bikini model search. I placed fifth out of 70 girls, so that was a big. Now, what happened? Because I know that you were in the second place position, at least I the was. position on stage, but then you ended up on the outside I don't looking know how in. That what happened? happened? How did that happen? So, know. you mean, to, so like I, after right now, judging, I don't know how it happened. We, now I'm going to have to look at the pits. Yeah, you're going to have to watch the video. So, after, so after pre judging, you were like, I, I'm, I'm sec I feel like I'm pretty confident in second place. Would you have gotten a pro card if you got second in that? No. It was only first place? The top three was you get publication in Flex, which would be an awesome Sure, honor. exposure. Also, you exposure. have to get, so the girl that won went on to Masters, na or Nationals. Yeah, the girl that won went on to Nationals, got her pro card. Pro card. Yeah. yeah. Could have been you. Gosh, could have yeah, been yeah. me. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, this year, this that's year okay, though. I'm still happy. You know, there was girls from Japan and girls sure. from all over, and that's a... Fifth 70, out of 70 girls. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, and you know, like, it, just because I'm, you're I'm blocked cool. from, you know, well, you're blocked from competing in some of this, you know, just because of the residency thing right now. Yeah. So it kind of inhibits you from, you may have your card already at this point, you know, and so yeah. I think you just keep plugging away. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Jessica Maxson, not only a national level bikini competitor, but she also has glam girl swimwear. Uh, she got into it because she's making her own suits, living in Canada. And um, I saw a lot of her clients, IFBB uh, girls. Uh, an MPC, a lot of people, it's a building it is a business. Let's talk about that a little bit. Well, I have... Well, how about this? Tell us real quickly, so where can we, where can someone... Find Is it? there a website? Yeah. Is there somewhere where we, they can contact you? Yeah, you bet. So I have a website, it's glamgirlswimwear.com. Um, we have Instagram, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook. Um, I'm here locally. I do consults to all my clients. I make sure that we pick everything. And where are you located? In Desert Ridge. Oh, in Desert Ridge? Yeah, oh, okay. Now, and I know suits Some are gone. Right. No, no, I would tell you, buddy. Of course. Um, no, I would tell you. Of course. I got your back, bro. You know how we roll. Um, so if, if a girl, you know, suits are expensive. And I think that, I, that's what I hear a lot about. You know, oh, my gosh. Suits and suits and suits. Yeah. 
So can you work with girls that are on a budget? Or, I mean, do you, so we have a wide range of that, that, that yeah. you can kind of fit these, these people into? You know, I honestly, I'm like really honest with them. I'm like, if you can't afford a crazy expensive suit, I offer girls, like, to start off with a basic suit, and then if you want to add to it, you can add to it. Sure. Bring it up yourself. Right? Like, if you want to do one show, and then you want to do nationals, I'll take your suit back and just add to it. There you go. Or you can do payments or whatever. I work with people's budgets, because I know it's expensive. And sure. I try to keep in a fair range. Like, sure. a lot of my suits aren't ridiculous they're not like two thousand dollars sure. or something like that yeah so. well being at the felicia romero pro-am uh we had our booth right across the way from you it looked like you had a lot of traffic over there yeah, a lot of great. people wanted to know who's jessica maxson the girl behind the suits and i was one of them i can <laughs> introduce myself and thank you let's get you on the show so thanks for uh coming on today is it just women's too i mean do you do you do you need guys stuff no I he likes the bling on his <laughs> not no bling scratch, head, no you bling on mine the what? And blank scrunch bomb on the back? Yeah, yeah just like right here. Oh my. <laughs> and she has this patented bikini bite that I just love. <laughs> Keeps it stuck right to my glutes. <laughs> I haven't done guy stuff as of yet. Um, I'm just still kind of branching out locally, you know, and, yeah. and in the U.S. Being new to the, the U.S., I have to kind of prove myself. So, you know, I work with good trainers that gear me towards what's going on in the sport, what's changing, what the standard is. I'm always evolving. Will people yeah. be able to, are you going to be kind of regular face at the shows promoting your your um, your line and, and people can kind yeah, of so come up to the local shows here and be able to contact We're definitely to. hoping to do some more sponsorships for shows this year, so that's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm not, if I don't have a booth there, I definitely will be at the show because I lose my voice by the end, cheering for all the girls, even though I know they can't hear sure. me. Sure. That's got to be kind <laughs> of uh, challenging, too, because you have all these clients and you kind of want to compete, but you know want to take their spot. So you kind of have to be in the background and, you know, cheerlead for them. But yeah, you're, it's, that's your it's good, good though. Yeah. I like to, like, help them out because, you know, we got to all stick together, kind of promote everyone and kind of, like, push everyone and do their best. <coughs> I can't just be all about me. Yeah. You know, that's not Yeah, you know, and all, there's a, there's a lot of training studios here. You know, you have PT by Joe, you have SDS. And uh, just because Jessica Maxson's an easy pro physique doesn't mean that you can't get your bikini from Man Girl Swimmer, right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, free yeah. consultations. Yeah. Um, hey, that you know you're making time for people. You must get busy probably. If you're going to get a suit, don't you have to get with you a couple months before the show to make sure you yeah. get it on time so that you can practice in it? I say at least six weeks. You know, like the more the better. Sure. And I can kind of dial into what someone's going to come down. People are like, well, I'm not really there yet. I have all this weight to lose, but I'm. I can kind of visualize. You know. What they're going to be. be. Yeah. Being a competitor, I and that's know. the benefit is you being a competitor. Yeah. It's you've got a good eye for that. Yeah. And then what is it on? What is it on uh, Instagram? Glam Girl Swimwear. Glam Girl Swimwear. I mean, I was on there looking at it. It's beautiful uh, bikinis, uh, beautiful models in them too. But make it look good. But seriously, um, you learn to sell. I mean, talk about it's not just you get the order and you send it off somewhere. Are you sewing these and, and designing them yourself? You bet. I sew them. I do everything by hand. Hello, I don't, people. I don't cookie cutter. I don't yeah. one They're size made fits for all. You. It's custom yeah. made to fit Not your glue yeah. perfectly. It glutes perfectly, right? Yeah. yeah. Like that's the major thing is that it has to shape your glute, and you don't want the suit covering everything. So I'm really picky. Yeah. Some girls get suits that are supposedly <laughs> custom, and then they're upset because it's just a small, medium large, and that's not what I do. Oh, yeah, I also see a lot of people that go in and they get sized and then they get their suit like three days before the show and they really don't, you know, maybe their positioning of their feet would have been a little bit different had they had their suit that they're going to compete in for practice, right? Yeah, so, that's true. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons to, you know, get it, get it early. Get it early. Yeah, get, get it early. early. <laughs> Proper preparation. Yeah. So anybody, I mean, I know that uh, to be in this business doing what you love, I mean, I commend you for that. Is there anybody you want to show a shout out to? Obviously, Dimatize is your sponsor. Yeah. Um, but uh, like, a, probably have a great support system. Um, yeah, definitely. Would love to thank my coach, Damien Segovia at Easy Pro Physiques. Who we coach. just recently had on the show. Wicked coach, love him bits. Kicks my butt, but still love you. <laughs> Dimatize has been with me for two years. They're an awesome team. They're like really family, group oriented, and they're just such a big supporter. My husband. Do you do promo stuff around town with? Them as well, or um, demos? And, demos yeah. are going to be starting, so oh. that's like the new development. They've kind of been changing their athlete Structure structures style. and that kind of thing, so we'll definitely be doing that next year, so you'll be seeing me demoing cool. for sure. Cool. And then i um, been working with Six Pack Bags, so they've been doing some demos with them. And then Do you have a purse now? I'm going to be in the purse. It's coming up to Arnold's. So <laughs> <I'm not realizing. laughs> 
all in on What's the purses. Yeah. <laughs> that that does look great. I would probably carry the purse, but probably not. But there's a pink one. It's probably one that <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> they have backpacks. Come on. No, yeah, I saw the backpack. Christiana was on here. I know it's yeah. Christian or Christian Yeah. That backpack yes. was as big as Matt. Yeah. Oh. I know there's a smaller one. Yeah, three pack. Yeah. Six pack. Yeah. You guys gotta be sporting one. Yeah. So are you? Uh, you're married. So your 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 uh, your husband's from here. That's what brought you into Arizona. Exactly. Okay. He's from South Dakota originally, but been in Arizona for about ten years. And now you're okay. loving the heat. I'm loving the heat. I don't like this cold. Yeah. I don't want to no, go back right? to cold. Don't right? make me go back to Canada. Yeah. Well, small town girl, you know, learning how to sew to make her own suit in Canada. Now in the big city, flourishing here with her business and uh, you know competing as a national level girl. We wish you the best of luck. I'm, I'm sure going to be calling your number over there. If I can. Hopefully, we'll be over there. Like, yeah, absolutely. Have the Mike Bodybuilding Show and uh, Eddie coming on stage. Uh, congratulating. <laughs> <It'd be> awesome. <laughs> that would be good. Well, we're looking awesome. forward too to having you on. Thanks for Thank coming you. on the Thank show. You so much for having we me. appreciate it. Yeah, Again, sure. let's plug your suit, your company one more time. It's GlamGirlSwimwear.com. GlamGirlSwimwear.com, guys, check it out. Jessica Maxson, Glam Girl Swimwear, national level, Metro Flex. Mike Best, Vincent VJ Hills, we want to thank our sponsors, MHTH Clothing, Peoria Ford, Metroflex, Iron Infinity, Big, Big AZ, AZ Promotions. Promotions, that was mine. Hey, let's share it. <laughs> it's a fight. <laughs> right, right. Mike Best, Jessica Maxson, thanks for watching. Thanks guys, Bye, we're guys. out.